Now we've already seen, given a decimal, how to convert it to a fraction. We've already seen, for example, that given the decimal 0 0.25, that's the same as 25 hundredths. And we can then simplify that fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator, each by 25, to get 1 fourth. So to convert from a decimal to a fraction, just use the decimal fraction. To convert a fraction to a decimal, well, the simplest way is to just understand the fraction as division. Looking at the previous example, we already know that 0.25 is 1 fourth. To get the 0 0.25 out of 1 fourth, well, 1 fourth equals 1 divided by 4. Right. As a decimal, 1 has its decimal point at the end. So we do that as decimal division. 4 goes into 1 followed by a decimal point. Of course, right now that looks really boring, right? Because how many times does 4 go into 1? Well, none at all. But 1 is the same as 1.0. And 4 goes into 10 twice. We still have something left, so we add another 0. 4 goes into 20 five times. And so we get that 1 fourth equals 0.25. To convert a fraction to a decimal on the calculator, of course, we just do the division. And we would say 1 divided by 4 and just hit Enter. Now. If it happens that we've converted that to a fraction, we've said 1 divided by 4, convert it to a fraction, for example, and we want to get it to a decimal, the second option in the math menu says, I really want to give that as a decimal. So maybe we might need to enter. 1 divided by 4 followed by the convert to decimal command, which we'll find under the math menu. Usually our calculator will give us a decimal by default, but if it insists it wants to give us a fraction, we have that command available.